I need to go and talk to him to just be sure we do the right thing. So, MRI brain and chest, and does he want cervical spine as well? So, yeah, let me just check. So, uh, hello everyone. We're just about to do a procedure on a young man, 41 year old, who has had symptoms of chest pain and shortness of breath for the last uh, couple of years. And he had uh, an exercise stress test done outside of Nigeria and Dubai actually, which was positive, which suggests that he may have blockages of the arteries around his heart. So we're gonna perform a coronary angiogram through the wrist, hopefully. And um, we'll have a look at his coronary anatomy to see whether he has any narrowings around his heart that are causing his symptoms and what we can do about these narrowings, whether we need to fix them through a catheter procedure called an angioplasty or surgery by a bypass procedure, or whether indeed whether he has any blockage in his heart arteries at all. The procedure takes about 20 minutes and usually recovery takes between two to four hours and the patient can go home the same day, provided he doesn't have any critical disease. So we'll do the procedure and then we'll let you know what the results are. We've done the angiogram on the patient. Uh, we weren't able to get it done through the radial approach because there are a proportion of people that you can't achieve uh, being able to complete the procedure through the radial approach. So we had to switch to a femoral approach and then we completed the procedure. Interestingly, despite him having a positive exercise test and um, being symptomatic, his uh, curry angiogram came out normal. So we're going to speak to him and try and find out if there are any other causes of his chest pain that are making him feel symptomatic um, and then we'll try and optimize his medical therapy as much as possible. But the good news for the patient is there is no significant coronary artery disease, so his risk of having a potentially fatal cardiovascular event is very low.